Exercise DVDs are a great way to bring fitness into your home. Workout videos can be purchased at most major retailers and can offer a wide variety of exercise programs and intensities. While DVDs serve as a great way to stay active outside of the gym, many lack critical instruction and feedback regarding proper form. Let's take a look at a few common exercises seen in fitness DVDs discuss just a few of the basic mechanics of these exercises that are often performed incorrectly, and identify ways in which you can improve your form at home and maximize your results while also reducing your risk of injury. Are you beginning your squats by lowering straight down toward the floor? Instead, try initiating this exercise with a hip hinge, keeping the core engaged and pushing the hips backwards first before lowering down. Initiating the squat with a hip hinge helps to avoid premature forward movement of the knees during this exercise. Are you feeling strain in your wrists when performing push-ups? Try using dumbbells or gripping handles instead of placing your hands on the floor, as this can help to reduce the amount of stress being placed on the wrist joints. If keeping the palms on the floor or if performing push-ups against a wall, make sure the hands are placed shoulder width apart and push through the heel and outer surface of your palms. Are you keeping your back as straight as possible when lunging? When performing this exercise, allow the torso to lean forward slightly, bending forward at the hips while maintaining a flat back with the core engaged. This slight forward lean helps to avoid increased curvature in the back and in turn helps reduce the amount of load placed on the low back. Are you feeling strain in your neck when performing crunches? Try folding the arms across your chest or opt to place the hands on the thighs as you complete the range of motion. If choosing to keep the hands behind the head, focus on allowing the fingertips to just lightly press behind the ears and keep your elbows wide to avoid pulling on the neck to facilitate the upward phase of the movement. Remember, the abdominals connect the rib cage to the pelvis, thus the movement should focus on bringing these two body parts closer together while keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed. Are you performing a standing chest exercise using dumbbells? If your objective is to strengthen the chest using hand weights, lie on your back, on a mat and perform dumbbell flies, as this exercise will effectively target the pectoralis major, the large muscle of the chest. Push-ups are also an effective option for targeting the pectoral muscles and involve no equipment. Are you feeling strain in the shoulders when performing dumbbell front raises? Instead of keeping the palms facing down when lifting the arms, which positions the arms in internal rotation during the lift, as you begin to near shoulder level, slowly rotate your arms upward somewhat so that the inside edge of the dumbbells point upward slightly. This slight external rotation helps to reduce potential strain and impingement in the shoulder joint during this exercise. Looking for a good workout DVD? Check out our DVD reviews in the Get Fit section of our website at www.acefitness.org. We'll see you next time.